I was asked to come and talk about assessment and examinations and I know there's a, a lot of background here, a lot of quite strong feeling it seems about uh, frustration with the examination system, people feeling that the marking's a bit arbitrary, that grading is often wrong or too often wrong. I thought it'd be useful and interesting to pitch in with, with my view, which is I think a bit in between what um, HMC's perspective and off course perspective to try and make sense of what I do think is a genuine issue. It's a concern. I don't think things are as good as they can be and need to be, but I also think that there are limits to what's going to be possible and we need to be realistic about that. I think we do have some advantages, actually. I think we have a, some good traditions in our exam system, and one of the traditions I think we should hang on to is that students are evaluated and assessed on what they actually learn. Our A-level system, for example, that's a real strength, that you have to study hard on the things that the teachers are teaching you in order to do well and, and get access to top universities and so on. And I think the breadth of what we assess, if you look at GCSE, there are hundreds of different specifications. You know, there's a massive market there that people can choose from. The problem is it's, all, it's quite monolithic. You know, it isn't, there isn't variety in that market. There's lots of different subjects and different specifications, but they're not actually that different, because of, partly because of the regulation. There are some issues around the, the grading and the appeal system and those kinds of things. But for me, the big issue really is about the, the misalignment, if you like, between the kinds of learning that we really value, the kinds of learning that we want young people to be experiencing, and what gets you credit in an exam. You know, if it, what the exam test is, is quite low level, it's quite predictable questions, formulaic types of answers, question spotting and playing safe then that's really damaging for a whole, the whole education system actually because that's what teachers will teach, they have to, that's what students are going to be judged on. Those results matter to students and they matter to schools. You're not going to do anything other than prepare them well to do well in those exams. But that's not really the, the best learning that, that they need you know, as a foundation for going on to study and for the rest of their lives and for the society as a whole. We need them to be able to think about hard problems and, and novel problems that they haven't seen before and come up with different ways of solving them and, and to be able to think, use ideas individually, uh, bring their own perspective to things and, and do that in a way that's connected and rigorous and, and you know, that's all the kind of learning that we, va we value as educators. So the challenge is to create an assessment system, exam system, that's a bit better aligned with that so that those things get rewarded a little bit more and then we'll move towards being slightly better than we are.